It's been two years since the oil spill has devastated uh, communities and fishermen. And uh, so right now we're going to go out and take a look at the habitat that's been uh, damaged by the oil spill and hopefully um, do some findings so we can use to uh, educate and make the community a little bit more aware. Hi, today we're in Bay Jimmy in the Bear Terrier Bay. This is an area that was heavily oiled two years ago during the Deep Horizon oil spill. Two weeks ago we came to visit this site to see how it was doing two years later and we were surprised to find that not a lot has changed. There's still a lot of oil coming out of the sediment. Wherever we stood, we actually had oil coming up out of the ground. This has an impact on the vegetation and also the wildlife in the area, and it also increases the marsh erosion. Uh, we're at uh, what's known as Cat Island, also known as Bird Island or Pelican Island. Uh, this is one of those spots that got heavy oiling uh, when, when uh, the BP Maconda oil came through Four Bayou Pass over here two years ago. Uh, this is where a lot of those scenes of baby pelicans fledging into the oil were filmed. It was a pretty sad sight. And it appears that the, the oil has had an effect uh, on the health of the mangroves which hold this island together. That's the, the shrubs uh, that are growing on the island and that the birds the uh, brown pelicans and the great egrets used to nest on. And as that mangrove dies, it doesn't hold the soils together and their high erosion rates. Just eyeballing, it looks like we've lost about half the eye. Well, we're, we're standing on what was just a year ago when we came out here, uh, a small island that had uh, grass is still growing on it, it had mangrove growing on it, and as you can see there's no island left. Uh, we're just standing on a little shoal. Mangrove is dead, uh, and, and this is just symptomatic of what's happening all over the Louisiana coast. Now, this is a prime example of why we need the Restore Act. Uh, we, need, we need the funds to begin saving what's left of these kind of islands and also to begin rebuilding the entire coastal zone. So two years after the BP oil spill, this is what we've got in our wetlands. We need Congress to act to make this right. We needed to pass the Restore Act with urgency, and we need to restore our coast. <laughs>